copying effects in your multi-track session. What's happening, everybody? David here. Today, we're going to go over a quick tutorial in multi-track in Adobe Audition CC. And I get asked this a lot by my students, uh, and it's about putting track effects in and then copying and pasting those to other tracks. So I have a, a quick, uh, short version of my podcast pulled up here, and I have some effects set on this track for the kind of the meat and potatoes of the podcast itself. And then you see I have a little intro, little outro. I'm going to show you how to really quick and easy copy those effects into a new track. So you can see here, there are no track effects put on this track, no track effects put on this track. So there's a couple of different ways that we can do it. Number one, if you go up here, you'll see I have mine set up for my Riverbender podcast. If I switch it over to Mixer, I can see the different track mixers, the little volume faders here and all the info that you need here. If you look right here, you can plainly see that there's some effects put on this track. So this is my intro track. This is my outro track. This is the body of my podcast. I'm not very good at naming tracks. So if you're better at naming tracks than I am, then this way is going to be a uh, probably pretty simple for you. All you have to do, if you know where your tracks are that you want to drag the tracks into, that's what we're going to do. We're going to drag them in. You can see I have four effects on here. And the real issue with this mixer side is kind of it's a small working space. But here's what we do. I'm just going to drag these over just like that. It can be tight. And this is the problem with doing it this way. But you can do it. And then your track effects are now on two different tracks. So if you go back over, it'll play with those effects. Huh. You're in Grafton, Illinois. So the effects are now put in each track. You can see that over here on the other side. I didn't put them all in. Uh, and I'll show you a, an easier way where you have a little more working room. So that's Mixer right there. And then you have this little tight window. You can just drag those over. But here's a different way. So right now we're in our input and output settings. If we switch to FX, here's all our track effects right here. It's real simple just to grab each track drag them over into the new track. And then I can just do that down here. Same way. You have to be careful. This can get finicky because this all works on the scroll over on the side and it'll expand the size of it. But make sure that they're in the same order that you want them. Then you don't have to go through and build each effect over and over. If you have something that seems to be working for your podcast or whatever you're doing for your uh, radio needs or whatever, this is a real easy way. Now all track effects are on each track. Six convenient locations throughout the park. Drive on up. So now my podcast has all the mastering that I want. It's got a nice little high pass filter on there and it's cutting out some frequencies through my TDR Nova dynamic EQ I have set up. And it took just seconds. You just have to know how to do it. So you're usually looking at your multi-track setting on the input and output setting. If you switch over to the effects setting, then you're looking at all the effects for each track. And it's real easy to tell what's on each track and then real easy to copy those to additional tracks. If you have any questions, if you know me, call, text, or email. If not, leave them down in the comments. Let me know how it's working for you. Thanks a lot.